After arriving in rainy Bogota from Medellin, we were happy to be flying towards sunnier skies. We were particularly excited for this adventure, seeing one of the natural wonders of the world, and were so thankful to have great window seats for the arrival as we flew across the world's biggest rainforest. We couldn't actually believe our eyes as we looked out. Everyone on the plane was glued to the windows as we all looked upon this incredible scene, covered in sunshine and greenery with just a few dark patches where the clouds sat, and the shadow of the plane as we approached. It's hard to believe there's even an airport out here among all this nature and thick jungle. But before we knew it, we were landing and ready to explore the Amazon for the next few days. Starting off in Letitia, where we had booked to stay one night in a lovely little hotel with really friendly owners. After running around and figuring things out, we grabbed a quick dinner with our new friend Arthur, who we'd only spoken to online until now, but we planned to explore the Amazon together for the next few days. Hola and welcome to the Amazon rainforest. <laughs> we are here in Letitia after taking two flights from Medellin to Bogota and then from Bogota to here and we arrived yesterday around four o'clock without Craig's suitcase. <laughs> it was an amazing <laughs> flight like everyone was excited coming in really over the fun. Amazon rainforest. There's no roads to get here so it's just surrounded by virgin Amazon rainforest and it was a beautiful descent into so Letitia. Cool. It was amazing but yeah then the drama started when we arrived. <laughs> so yeah we are here with my bag and not Craig's. So last night we had to do a quick emergency shop to get Craig some new clothes just to last us in the Amazon. <laughs> we had to buy new bug spray, new all sorts of things but we're here and we're going to catch the boat. So in the 18 hours or so that we've been here obviously we've slept but we've been running around to find food and try and figure out tickets and things um, how to get to where we need to go to which is a place further up the river called Porta Naranja or something like that I'll put the name <laughs> below. We're in an area that's right on the connection of three countries Brazil, Colombia and Peru so this morning I was woken up an hour early by my <laughs> phone because it was connected to Brazil time so I woke like, up with a bit like... of a shock but yeah we've got our tickets we've run around this morning and we're about to get on the boat yeah and the boat takes two and a half hours from here to get there into the jungle and we've heard it leaves early sometimes so we're gonna get there <laughs> we're so excited to see the Amazon heard we're gonna see sloths pink river dolphins okay. go piranha fishing so fingers crossed we see all these things let's but go. let's go and get on the boat we need to get there So I've downloaded some offline maps and I just checked it and this is actually the Amazon River. So amazing. Welcome to the Amazon and the Amazon River. And we're sailing along it right on the line. So half the boat is in Peru and half the boat is in Colombia. <laughs> yeah, we've got Peru to our left hand side and Colombia to our right. <laughs> Craig and Kirsty, a couple who have been on the road for the past three years sharing our adventures around the world. Right now we're making our way through South America and exploring everything it has to offer. If you enjoy seeing new places and real experiences, please subscribe and welcome to the adventures of Tide Not Travellers. myself that we're actually here. We are super excited and we've just taken the boat from Letitia over to Puerto Nariño which is where we're standing right now. It took right two and here. a half hours coming along the Amazon yeah. River. And it costs 34,000 Colombian pesos per person. There are three different companies you can book the boat through. It's like a public boat. It goes 
uh, multiple hours a day and there's actually um, private boats you can do as well but it costs a lot more of course we want to do it the more affordable way yeah. Um, so yeah highly recommend that the boat's actually really comfortable and we even saw some pink and grey river dolphins along our way here Amazing. can't believe we've seen that already we haven't even started <laughs> but yeah now we've just met our tour guide who speaks absolutely no English so we're gonna have to work with my limited Spanish and our new friend Arthur's very good Spanish to figure out what we're doing for the next couple of days um, first of all we're gonna go grab some lunch because it's already uh, one o'clock and then this afternoon I can't believe it we're actually gonna go fishing for piranhas <laughs> it's so cool apparently we're gonna what go fishing that? for piranhas swimming in the river somewhere find some caiman not at the same time <laughs> find hopefully some <laughs> And then, yeah, and the Cayman tour is part of a night tour, and then we've got more things planned for tomorrow, but yeah. we've just checked into our hostel, and like Kirsty said, we're going to go and get some food. Oh yeah, our hostel over here in Puerto Norino is lovely and rustic, and it looks over the Amazon River, so we're going to wake up straight looking at this. I can't believe we're here, I can't believe so I'm cool. saying that. Like, yeah. been on the bucket list forever. Yeah, so let's go and explore the Amazon for two whole days. Let's do this. Let's go and get some food. <laughs> yeah, that too. Just having lunch and I've got chicken, like a curry chicken with some rice and also got some kidney beans and like some little fried potatoes in there as well. Kirsty has... Uh, Decided to skip it because the veggie options weren't really a bit fancy. <laughs> <laughs> also I'm just being careful after Bolivia, I'm just going to eat as little as possible to, <laughs> to get through. Happily. Stay on the safe side, especially at the beginning of the trip. Exactly. But uh, we've got our guide here as well and we've also got Arthur. <laughs> How was your lunch? It was delicious. The delicious fish, right from the, uh, in the Amazon. From the uh, straight from the river. And then just as we're finishing up lunch, sitting here looking over the Amazon River, I noticed some dolphins coming up. So yeah, nice way to end lunch. View of some little river dolphins. <laughs> Amazing life in the Amazon. Yeah, it's a pretty good start. <laughs> Also, when we arrived in Puerto Norino earlier, when you get off the boat at the port, there is also a tourist tax you have to pay as well. It's not too much, it's only 12,000 pesos, Colombian pesos, so it's not too bad. But yeah, it's time to go and jump on the boat and head off piranha fishing. Let's go. We'll go for a swim earlier than expected. Exactly. Let's yeah. yeah. go on a boat and look for some piranhas. <laughs> we can still see the same family of uh, river dolphins just breaching right behind us. And we asked our tour guide if he doesn't mind taking us over there. And he's paddling so that we can be quiet and uh, hopefully get up really close. Just stopped for a break at this little floating platform at the entrance to the lake that we're going to fish for piranha and you can just see how you can spend so much time in this part of the Amazon. There's people here just relaxing in hammocks and look at the beautiful lake. The network of river and lakes is so vast. We're a long way from the main Amazon river that we're staying on. We've motored a long way through these, these waterways and you can see it's just opened up 
into this vast lake. I guess this was once part of the Amazon River, but it's just been cut off. And also we're just looking at some of the animal legends, which tell you some of the animals that are in the area. Just remember that there's things like electric eels and poison dart frogs, um, huge piraruku, which apparently can grow up to four or five meters long, and they're larger in diameter than a human body. Uh, so, <laughs> as well as the piranha and the caiman, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. But the sun is starting to break out again. We're gonna jump back in the boat in a minute and head out to the lake to fish for piranha. Doing a little bit of fishing practice before we head out on the lake and there's a load of tiny little juvenile fish very interested in the bait. I like the uh, authentic fishing rods we have. <laughs> Wooden stick with a bit of line on the end and a bit of bait. Time to go and catch some big ones. Right, here we go, time to try a hand at piranha fishing. Let's go guys. Oh, 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 oh. I have it, I have it, I have it. You have it? Oh, you can feel them taking. He feels something and then he just whips. Oh. oh, yeah, 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 I got one. Wow, the first piranha. Check out those teeth. So feisty. First piranha has been caught, and predictably, it wasn't any of us three newbies, <laughs> it was our guide. <laughs> see those teeth. So this one isn't huge, it's probably about 10 centimeters or so. But yeah, take a look at these teeth. Wow. Wow, you can hear how sharp those teeth are. Piranha number two. So far our guide's putting us to shame. He's got two, the rest of us have got nothing. <laughs> no pressure Craig, but if you get one now it'll be really good. <laughs> Probably got no bait left. That's why. That's why, yes, what happened to me earlier. It literally stripped the bait. I didn't feel a thing. Yeah, that's, that's exactly like, what I got. Sneaky so piranha. Let's do this. The piranhas seem to be a bit further down. Ah, strike three. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, this one is beautiful. Esta es un otra especie, ¿no? Ah, touch the piranha. <laughs> yes. Right, 
The three of us newbies didn't catch any piranha, but it's time to go swimming in the Amazon River. Yeah, that's our forfeit. We have to go in. <laughs> we didn't catch anything, so we've got to go for a swim. Are you ready? Yeah, rather than catching them, they're going to catch us. <laughs> time to swim in the Amazon River. Let's do this. Okay, are right. you guys ready? <laughs> very, very nervous <laughs> right on, now, babe. I'm not going to lie. Come on, don't right, psych okay. us out. Let's do this. What swimming one? in the Amazon. Three, two, one, go. Ah! It's nice and warm. Oh, I'm scared. Don't move away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, something behind you. <laughs> I knew you'd do that. <laughs> it is very warm. It's really warm. <laughs> right, that'll do. <laughs> it's when you feel it and someone says they can see it that you're like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Then, then you I see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love you. <laughs> Survived swimming in the Amazon. <laughs> That was all good until Arthur said he could see fish and then I felt them on my feet. <laughs> that got me out quickly. <laughs> yeah, I could feel like a fish going up my back and on my legs. <laughs> yeah. And we could see it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't normally mind fish, but when you've seen piranha, it feels different. We definitely weren't as hardcore as Arthur. He was just casually in there swimming around. But that is definitely a big tick on the bucket list. Swimming in the Amazon River. <laughs> right, now I think it's time to go and see sunset. It was a busy first day getting out into the Amazon, but also really relaxing and peaceful once you're out on the boats, which are all really tiny and rustic. And although our boat driver didn't talk much, at least he was better at catching piranha than any of us who all struck out. The network of waterways around the Amazon are incredible, as are the locals' ability to navigate them all perfectly. Here we had branched off from the main Amazon River and into a peaceful lake called Lago Tarapoto, in time to catch a beautiful sunset. As our first day in the Amazon came to an end, we sat peacefully watching the sun go down, and with it left the heat of the day that was melting us so much earlier that we had agreed to jump into the river, something we had sworn we wouldn't be doing before we came here, especially after we'd just seen loads of piranha in the waters. But we lived to tell the tale, and thankfully nothing ate us. Speaking of which, our final stop of the day was to go searching for Cayman along the banks here after dark. So the sun's gone down now, it's twilight, the mosquitoes have come out and we are hunting for Cayman. We're in the, the same area that we've stopped at this afternoon in the lake. There's also lightning cloud over my head there and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll find some. Torches at the ready. Torches at the ready. <laughs> I can hear a mosquito right by my ear now. Yeah, they seem to know when you're holding something and yeah. you haven't got a spare hand to bat them away. Listen to that sound. It's just full of life, including the mosquitoes. How's Cayman hunting going, wifey? It's quite eerie, actually. <laughs> he put his oar in the water then, and I thought it was a Cayman. <laughs> <laughs> Are you enjoying being in the Amazon in the middle of the night? I am actually loving it. It's going to get darker, and then I'll be more scared. It's definitely scarier, but I hope we see some king. I mean, they're all around us right now, but we just, they can see us, we can't see them. Which is a bit scary when you think of it like that. Where are their little eyes? Where are they? Actually, now that it's darker, my torch works better. <laughs> 